Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this video, we will learn how we can solve this in NC Workbench, and we will solve this simple trust problem in NC Workbench by applying the same boundary conditions and same fixture and displacement. So first of all, we will go to static structural table. And in geometry, we will on the line bodies and go to design modeler geometry. And on XY plane, make it normal and make three lines of two meter. One, two, and three. Go to dimension and apply the two dimension of two meters. Now simply give the dimension of two meter to each line. And now from this figure, you can see that our this member is of 2.5 meter. So we have the value of base and we have the value of hypotenuse. So we can simply Calculate the angle which is 66.42 degree. Now we will make the line and give the dimension that its length is 2.5 meter. And the angle is 66.42. Okay. Now you can see the dimension of other member is 2.5 meter. So this is for just the surety. No need to apply this dimension. Now again repeat the same steps for other members like this. Make sure that these all points are coincident or these lines are coincident at these points so that there is not no there is no mistake on the analysis. Again give the dimension of 2.5 meter to these members and give the angle sixty-six point four. now we will make these two lines you can see that these lines are horizontal and these stresses are equal in length and angle now what we will do is we will go to concept tab and we will select the cross section you can select any cross section of your type of geometry you can edit the section from here and then simply generate again go to the concept and now what we will do is we will make the line from sketches which is our line body and we will select all the line holding control button and select generate now our line body has been generated select this line body and in cross sections like the I1 cross section you have applied before. So our geometry is ready to analyze. Go to model. So this is our geometry and now we will simply generate mesh. So you can see that our mesh has been generated for the line body now we will apply the boundary conditions as you can see at a point it is fixed at and d point it is moving in the x direction 
and fix in the y and z direction. So first of all, we will apply the simple fix port at this node. For that, I will select the node and apply. Again, go to displacement, select this point, and make this zero for y component and zero for z component and it will move freely at x component now we will apply the forces at this point it is 12000 kilo newton so we will go to the components and in y components we will apply minus 12000 newton minus is donating the direction of the force again select this point apply go to the components and give the value of minus 20000 newton so now our boundary conditions has been applied so we will simply in the solution we will find total deformation and we will apply beam tool select fall So now you can see our model has been solved and our truss has been solved. So total deformation maximum is 0.00205 meter and minimum is 1.29 cross plane resistance power minus 0.04. Now if you want to find the stress, you can find the stress in the beam tool maximum combined stress and minimum combined stress so if i want to find the reaction forces at these points what i will do is i will simply go to the prop tool and from here i will select force reaction in boundary condition we want to see the force reaction as the fixed port so we will select fixed port from here and we will go to the solve and so you can see that in the y axis our force reaction is 2015 newton and if you want to find the force reaction at the displacement end so again you will go to the prop and you will find select displacement and select fall so you can see the reaction force at the wide in the y direction is 11985 newton so this was our tutorial on trust analysis on MC's workbench. Thank you for watching. Keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for the more interesting videos.